Okay, we're going to show a test now with the open pilot copter control and low voltage. Now, I have a cheap 3 amp 5 volt UBEC. Now, it might say it's 5 volts, but by the time it's powering a control board, we see that the voltage has already dropped down to 4.75 volts. Um, we have a servo attached. The servo at the moment isn't binding, this is for the camera mount, and we find that it's only barely touching the voltage at all. Any movement of the servo we're finding is severely impacting the, vo the voltage. Now, I have a problem here where my camera mount is binding. Now, I didn't realise my camera mount was binding, but I was flying, and I found that when it was binding, if I have the, the pressure on it, the voltage has already dropped to 3.5 volts. Uh, the green light is still on the receiver, but we've dropped 3.5 volts. Our lights are still flashing on the open pilot controller, and I can, I arm, it. I can arm it still, but half the motors aren't working. So, right, we'll go back to normal. Let's say... We go and plug it in, you believe that it's all working perfectly, and the board is armed, and without it all falling off, we bring some power up, and here we have normal flight. Let's give it a restart, see if we can get that damn thing to start up. Have a look. Right. Here we go. Start from scratch. Armed power. Right. So we're now flying. If I go forward, everything is acting properly. And we have a fair amount of power on. Now if I adjust the servo, you watch the voltage drop, and I've got a cut of power with three motors not going and it's going to need a power reset for everything to be happy enough to fly again. And it shows just how important the voltage rail is for powering your control board and it also shows that we have to be really careful with some of the smaller UBECs because they're really not up to the job. Um, I was I just quickly put my adjustable camera mount on last night. I flew tonight. I adjusted my camera all the way down, uh, which happened to bind the servo. And about two seconds later, I had a copter that just didn't want to know what it was, and ah, thankfully a tree saved it. Very lucky. Uh, all I'm trying to show here is be very careful with your UBEC. Make sure you have one that has sufficient volts to do the job because uh, this afternoon when mine failed it actually reset my board all the way back to factory default set for an aeroplane. Um, my receiver here, I'm using a FreeSky receiver, it will work to lower voltage but it doesn't mean everything else around it will. Um, just some food for thought. Everything.